Kathy. Yeah? I just want to sweep you off your feet. Oh, Tyler. <whistles> Tyler. And welcome to Junkyard Wars, where our two teams of trash-happy techno-wizards will attempt to conjure up mighty machines out of this jumble of junk. At stake is a place in the semifinals, but to get there, our teams are going to have to get down and dirty. Today's challenge is to build a crud-catching, garbage-guzzling street sweeper. The teams will bring their machines here to the Junkyard Oval, where they'll have to tackle all manner of trash in a test of control and efficiency. Each team has one half of the track. Both are filled with identical trash. Over three rounds, they'll race against each other and the clock to pick up as much garbage as they can. At the end of it all, the team who collects the greatest weight of rubbish will sweep to victory. In Grungy Green, the Trash Can Heroes are three wacky welding bicycle building boys from San Francisco. Hi, I'm Paul. I'm the team captain for the Trash Can Heroes. Anton, Jay, and I have known each other for several years. We've worked together on uh, lots of pedal powered gizmos. Ow. Ow. I'm Anton. I run my own welding shop. I'm Jay. I do welding and uh, metal fabrication. Paul is like a, like a pit bull. He gets an idea in his head and he just runs with it. And doesn't really think about the consequences a lot of the times. I came up with the Ferris wheel. I had naysayers telling me it wouldn't work. I built it anyway. We are the Trash Can Heroes. Helping them kick dirt in their opponents' faces is top sweeper engineer Brian Giles. Building a street cleaner out of junk will really challenge his recycling skills. Let's go get him with our supreme confidence. In odious orange, their opponents are the sewer rats. These boys from Boise keep the city's sewage shifting along. My name is Dion. I'm the team captain of the sewer rats. The sewer rats are made up of Chris, Ralph, and myself. And we maintain the city's sewer lines. Chris is very technical. If we have any questions about our personal cars, he's the man we go to. Hi, I'm Chris. I work with Ralph side by side, and I know what he's thinking and, and how he wants to do things. Dion is our fearless leader. He's good at just about everything he does. He's ultra competitive. Between Ralph, Dion, and I, there isn't anything that, that we can't accomplish. Helping the sewer rats clean up is dirt demon and ace designer Jim Adair. His street cleaning credentials are second to none. Guys, let's get him! Yeah! All right, teams, huddle up here. Sewer rats! Yeah! yeah. Trash can heroes! Yeah. yeah! I want you to forget about fair play and get ready to fight dirty. This is gonna be a real dust up and no one is coming away clean from this one. I want you to build me a grimy, grungy, garbage guzzling street cleaner. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so you have just 10 hours to turn all this trash around you into a crud collecting masterpiece. Your time starts when the gonger gongs. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah let's go. Go! The humble street cleaner is actually one of the most complex vehicles ever to hit the road. Hidden inside its plain exterior is a complicated mix of machinery, hydraulics, spray systems, and brooms. Compared to this monster, a tank would have been an easy challenge. Coming up with a good plan is therefore essential. All right, guys, how are we going to build this monster garbage guzzler? I imagine we need some sort of brushes and we'll a fan to, we'll induction. We'll need some brushes and we're going to have to make our own brushes, which make is going to be the brushes. biggest challenge of what we're going to do. Uh -huh. Because the brushes are the key to whether a street sweeper works or not. Excellent. The trash can heroes plan to mount a broom in front of a pickup and spin it using a small motor. The brushes will flick rubbish into a hopper as they drive along. So how big a brush are we going to do? I mean, I think we'll build something between probably 16 and 20 inches. 16, 20 inch brush. 16 Good. to 20 inches. Okay. What we're going to do is build a vacuum street sweeper. So one person's operating it and the other three guys have to ride. The sewer right. rats have come up with a plan that really sucks. For the, for the sweeping head. Oh, we're going to pull the debris up then throw it into a hopper. 
The key component will be a high-speed fan. Enclosed in a housing and mounted on a pickup, it will vacuum up trash and throw it in a hopper. But if the fan isn't big enough or fast enough, it will never suck rubbish off the course. Captain Dion takes charge. <laughs> All right, guys. We need to get a frame that's operable. We need a motor to drive it, preferably probably a V8. We need material for a fan. We need a fairly large hopper and some heavy rubber. All right. We need a small running engine. Captain Paul takes his time. Wire. You guys take off and go get All it. Right. All right. Whew. We need lots of pulleys and belts. Yeah, we need a hopper. We need, we need the hopper. hoppers. What they need is to get a move on. Because, you know, it's, it's all organic in there, kind of looking uh, the connections to a car. Yeah. You guys go out, find the stuff, bring it back here, and we'll start building. Yeah. Go, right. go, go. Go the shopping. Time for Anton and Jay to play catch up. Tyler, we've got sewer rats, we've got trash cans, we've got garbage guzzling. I mean, it could get really mucky. Yeah, I know. I'm ready. It's a dash for the trash. No one wants to be left with rubbish parts. So, Chris, yes. how are you feeling about this challenge? Oh, this is going to be cool. Yeah? yeah. Is this anything like you yeah. normally do at work? Well, a little bit. We have we have vacuum trucks at work that right. do vacuum. Um, at, a, at another job that I worked at, um, we I, I was a street sweeper. You've been a sweet street sweeper. Yeah. <laughs> the truck is more or less complete. What do you think of the uh, whole idea of making a street sweeper? A little uh, out of your league, maybe? Or it'll be fun. I was really hoping I think, to build. Uh, I was hoping to build a waffle iron, but. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, try it slow. First blood to the rats as they haul out of fan housing. All right. Cool. Hero Jay hopes this conveyor will help carry the trash cans to victory. So, will our teams turn up treasure amongst the trash, or will they turn out to be just a bunch of bums? In obnoxious orange, the sneaky sewer rats are sniffing out materials for their super-sucking vacuum cleaner. Top priority is finding the right fan to make their giant vacuum suck. That is right. That has got that's got the bearings and everything on it. All right, I gotta, we got a potential motor out there. I'm going to hit it. But it's got to meet with the expert's approval. We could find a flat paddle wheel. That would even be a better. A flat paddle wheel? Yeah. Okay. The hunt for a suitable fan goes on. Hey, what about this? It looks like it's all here, just the tires are flat. Their opponents in gastric green are the trash can heroes. They're planning to build a mechanical sweeper that will flick dirt into a big hopper. Truck's an automatic. If it runs, this pickup could be just what the heroes need to get their show on the road. Hello, sewer rats. Hello there. How's things going over here then? It's going good. We're getting off to a start. Yeah? We've got a plan worthy of garbage guzzling domination. Right. You got it. You got <laughs> what, it. We what do. is the plan? We're going to probably try and use a frame setup like this. We're going to drop a motor next to it and try to run a fan uh, or a belt pulley system to it, suck dirt up and throw it into a bunker. Sounds like a lovely idea. The sewer rats want to use a fan driven by a car engine to create a vacuum. Enclosed in a housing and mounted on a big pickup, it will suck dirt up and shoot it into a hopper. But the fan will have to be really tough. If not, a beefy bit of trash could smash it to pieces. Do you deal with this kind of thing in your proper jobs? We go and make point repairs, we repair the pipe, uh, keep the system in, in itself flowing so we don't have that. But it's all problem. about keeping sewage on the move. You got it. If the stuff sets still, people get mad. Yeah. You know. That's perfect. Rat man Ralph is starting to rock and roll. Watch out, it's going down. This big dumpster is perfect for their hopper because when it comes to guzzling garbage, size is important. Should we start off with some debris? <laughs> First off, help me out here. What What's the actual idea. What are you guys going for? Alright, so the idea is we're going to have a brush and it's going to spin and push the debris into a hopper. The trash can heroes are going to build a broom and spin it using a small motor. 
the brushes will flick dirt into a hopper. This whole assembly will be mounted on the back of a pickup, which will be driven in reverse. It's a clever move. By driving backwards, the guy's steering will be next to the curbside, making it easier to control. So the fact that you guys work together all the time, obviously that you're hoping that that is going to work to your advantage, the whole team concept. Oh yeah, I know these guys and I know their, their brilliance and their limitations and I think that uh, we got a really strong team and we're going to kick some butt. That's what they all say. However, Auto Wizard Anton has worked some magic on this pickup. All right, hit it. Sounds like it's going. With a working vehicle, the heroes are firmly in the driving seat. Come on, baby. Scavenging rats Ralph and Chris are proving less skillful. Let's go and try that other, that other truck. No sparky, sparky. No spark? Are you guys all right out there? You guys got everything handled? They're struggling to get any of these vehicles on the road. With nothing to work on, King Rat Dion can only stand and watch as the heroes start firing on all cylinders. I don't know if it's, it's more aggravating uh, not having the parts or knowing that your competition is over there building something. After nearly two hours of scratching around, feeble scavengers Ralph and Chris finally get a motor running. <laughs> All right. Yeah, buddy. It looks like a street sweeper. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, buddy. This is going to be our auxiliary engine, is yeah. that? Yeah, we're still working on the truck. Couldn't find one that was uh, so. maybe out of already or loose. <laughs> the first mechanical street cleaners started appearing in the early 20th century. The original machines were mighty contraptions. But as times changed, so did street cleaning. Today, it's a multi-million dollar industry, and across the country, street sweepers clear up over a million tons of trash every month. Helping clear up Kansas City's share is the acclaimed Sweepa Preacher, the Walter Cronkite of the sweeper world, and our judge today, Gail Holzman. Well, let's take a look at the two teams. Let's start with the trash can heroes. They're going with the, the broom idea, the sweeping broom. Tell me about that. What do you think of it? They have three things they have to think about. One is they got to pick up material. Two, they have to deposit it in the hopper. And three, they got to be able to dispose of it after they do that. They really got to do a lot of planning and make sure they've got the material that it's going to take to make the job go easy for them today. So what about the sewer rats? They're going for the completely the opposite. They've got a hard job as far as putting a fan together, making the, uh, the material come up into the hopper. Is the idea for the sewer rats, is it to, to strip this vehicle? Do they only need the chassis or, or what's, the, what's the whole plan? I tell you, the sewer rats are going to surprise us all because if they make a sweeper out of that thing right there, <laughs> they will be amazing. Where are you going to put your money up? I'm going to go with the trash can heroes because I think the trash can heroes seem to be a little better organized and they seem to be finding a little better material out in the junkyard to make their project work. Brian! All right, now there's some cable. If the heroes cut it into short lengths, this cable could be ideal for their broom bristles. Look. See? Come on. That's what the helmets are for. Brain Box Brian checks whether it measures up. Do a piece. Pretty flicked up. Yeah. Seven inches. That's got good flick. The rats had planned to remove this car's engine and use it to drive their fan. Why couldn't we run right off of those axles? Right off that axle. Sit on. But Captain Dion wants to use the car intact. Hey, wait. Let me. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. That's our hopper. Why can't we just set the damn car on the back of a frame? That, that's a large enough hopper, right? Yeah. Yeah, that actually work. You want to say you want you want to say yeah? A formal yeah? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if we if we're going to be able to get enough RPM off of our tire. And the other thing is, is while the debate rages on, rotten rat scavengers Ralph and Chris have been sent out, tails between their legs. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. The ignition wire is gone, Chris. If they don't come back with a pickup soon, they might as well not come back at all. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. No. Dude, problem solved. All we need is like 
20 more of these. It's happiness and humor in the Heroes Hall of Fame. Hey, oh, we need looking a, good. We just need 20 more of these, man. Yeah, there. <laughs> Joking aside, their key component, the broom, is coming together nicely. It's looking good. I think it's going to work. So we have to either extend this thing out. If we jerk the motor out of that car. Right. The rats have got their all-important pickup, but they still can't decide what to do with the car. Jim, what's going on? Uh, I don't know if, if you'd call it desperation or it. Uh, I'm, I'm sensing progress. that there's. I'm sensing progress. that there's progress. a. Progress. Progress. I'm sensing this is a feeling of. Oh, what have I gotten myself into? That's, <laughs> that's 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 what it kind of feels like right now. Dion, can you show me how this is how you actually plan to make this work? I mean, because you're obviously going to have to hook. You know, yeah, we can. What we were planning on doing is the fan would be mounted to that axle. Instead of taking the engine out, Dion wants to drive the fan straight off the car's wheel hub. And he wants to mount the whole car on the back of the pickup. Rubbish will be sucked through the fan and ducted into the main body of the car, which will somehow act as a hopper. Do you actually think it's going to work, though? I mean, or is that what you have to decide? Discuss? <laughs> that's, what we're, that's what we're going to do a little more discussing. It's all heating up in the home for heroes. It's pretty damn hot, you know. I'm thinking of cutting my hair because <laughs> I got so damn much me. of it, and I think I think right now is probably the time. Right. It's time for a little bit of adjustment here. It's just too <laughs> really darn hot. I hate it. I'm sweating. It's humid. I come from the valley. Please tell me this is a wig. It's not. No, this no, is no. A genuine. This, it's just haircut. too hot. I would be wearing a wig out here. Would you be wearing a wig? I'm not sure. I trust your hairdresser very much. He's looking a little mullet. bit. No, the mohawk mullet is the one we're going for. <laughs> oh yeah, keep this bit long, man. Yeah, leave the ears on. Please. I think the mohawk mullet is the most extreme of all mullets. <laughs> <laughs> You'll notice we all grew mustaches down at the shop this summer. That was sort of our well, goal for the summer. Well, having not met you before, I wasn't sure whether that was just the general. Look, no, 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 no. It was I, mustache I, summer. Just, yeah, it was we're mustache going into summer. Mullet autumn. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've got a pocket full of. All oh, right. Oh, you that's what. Save that, that for the brush. Yeah, I mean, oh, save yeah, that for the brush. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, would, that would be very poetic, I think, to make a machine All out right. of your own um, off cuts. You're not making me look like an idiot here, are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, you have to do a good job up there. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's and looking that's very Is that handsome? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is that yeah. handsome? That's yeah. absolutely All right. handsome. All right. Let me tell you how much cooler I feel now, too, in both senses <laughs> of the word. Let me tell you how much cooler you look as well. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. He's got a Sharpie. I got a Sharpie. I'm going to leave here, you have some hair. <laughs> Before you get your hair cut. Exactly. <laughs> All right, Trash Masters, you have six hours. That's six hours left to complete those machines. The thing about the Trash Can Heroes is they've definitely got that San Francisco vibe going where they, I think I'm fairly confident that none of them really have a clue what they're doing, but they're really happy about it. They're having a nice time, they're all quite slowly, they're really mellow, relaxed. Right on, man. <laughs> exactly. Tate Ashbury. On the other side, though, you know, the sewer rats, um, they're looking at it going, oh boy. I, uh, Are they stressing? It just looks like they're so overwhelmed that they don't even know what they're doing or, or where to go next. Um, and they just kind of stand around looking at it, hoping it'll like make itself into a garbage collector or something So what like we're that. agreed on is both teams are in a similar state of disrepair and actually what the next few hours is going to be is a test of whether happiness and calm triumphs yeah. over stress, chaos and panic. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but what about hacking the frame? Hack this thing down to almost nothingness and then just pick it up from the mounts. Then we have, then we go back to using another style. The rats still haven't agreed on a new plan. We find out that any problem. Ex-military man Ralph decides it's time to issue orders. Like car hacked? Yes. Yeah, the hopper right. here. Yeah. Ralph's idea is to chop the front of the car off, keeping the engine and controls all together, and mount it on the pickup. He wants to mount the dumpster behind it to act as the hopper. It's so simple and straightforward a plan that even the rats can agree on it. And at long last, they kick into action. There, how's that for stiff rubber? But their problems aren't over yet. 
In order for this machine to work, we have to have a fan, an internal fan that actually moves air that creates suction to draw the material into the hopper. That's where our problem is. We have no fan. So it's going to be real interesting the next time you and I chat where we're at with the sewer rats because they have to come up with a fan. As the heroes start to fit their components together, they hit their first problem. I think the truck has actually sunk, settled down, or we kind of mismeasured it before. I'm not sure we've got room for all our paddles and this piece to clear the ground. A madcap mismeasurement means their broom is going to be too big to fit under the pickup. Both teams are struggling to build a street sweeper. In Juicy Orange, the sewer rats are looking more like lemons. Without the right kind of fan, their giant vacuum cleaner will never suck. Half the day's gone and Expert Jim is reduced to building their key component out of scrap metal. Just a little bit more off on the back side there. In leafy green, the trash can heroes are heading for a fall. A miscalculation means their broom is going to be too big to fit under their truck. Well, I need one more inch and that'll, that'll just barely let us get our brooms off the ground. We must have measured it out there when it was on a hill. One solution to their broom problem is to jack the pickup suspension up and weld it solid. The extra space created should accommodate their broom when they finally put it all together. We can cut our we should We should cut, cut those off, yep. And see, that may let us, that may be it. Yep. Okay. Sewer rat Chris has finally developed a nose for the right materials. Hey, Dion. I think I might have found a fan that will do us justice. No way. All right, we'll see you here in a little bit. It's just what they needed about four hours ago. Which way do you want to go here? Yours or the one we found? But once again, the rats are plagued by indecision. Once you have your first one done, boom, the rest of them are going to pulp. Which fan should they use? This thing, that, his is going to work exactly the same as this, except better. I say we junk our disc and, and use Jim's. I agree. I agree. Because cause his is going to well, work. Well, when I originally thought about coming to California, I didn't know I was going to have this much entertainment. It's been entertaining <laughs> to watch the sewer rats do the thing today. And if they have any chance of winning this thing at all, they've got to make sure they've got a plan. And stick with that plan. Don't change it. What about the trash can heroes? What, uh, what kind of progress have they made? They just can't seem to put it together. We have a real problem with the broom mechanism because they haven't gotten close to showing us anything, whether it's going to work, whether it's even going to exist. As it stands right now, though, where, where's your money? Where's your five bucks? Well, I think the sewer rats can do it. The sewer rats have got an idea. If they can make it work and make the fan work, they will have a machine superior to this one because I'm worried about their broom. I says, look at this baby. Jim just welded up that. That is not going anywhere. The rats have decided to ditch Jim's hand-built fan and go with the one they've found instead. But they need to work fast if they're going to catch the heroes up. Well, we're going to kick their ass now. So you're going to have a bunch of these. There's two of these, one on each end. Okay, okay. And that, now from, from there, you got two, you're going to have two of these hooked on. Right. Kind of doing a, almost like this. That's right. Exactly. Flipping motion like that. That's right. Now, take me from here to how that's going to actually mount onto the sweeper. It's right there. And these are going to mount something like this. Okay. And, uh, and away you go. You can kind of picture it there. The hero's broom will be made up of different types of brush. Two of the brushes are made of steel bristles. These provide the flick to get material into the hopper. But to make sure nothing bypasses their bristles, the heroes will also be using two brushes made out of rubber flaps. They hope the combination will ensure they clean up come test time. So they're going to be proud of you uh, back at work when they see what you build here? It depends on whether we win or not. Yeah. <laughs> Teams, your time is being swept away. You only have three hours, three hours remaining. Oh, he's brutal. There we go. I'm gonna set her down slow, let's, guys. Let's get it up on there. 
Despite the delays, things are finally coming, coming together in the rat's lair. We can move it once it's on here. Move you down. You're all the way up against the cab. That's all far we can go back. We're right? okay. Look at this beautiful mutant you've created. <laughs> We've got to have a name for this thing. It's like a hideous mongrel dog. It's the best it's of us. Pick up hippie car thing. <laughs> <laughs> but the progress in here over the last hour has been amazing. Oh, yes. You've been really working at oh, it. Yes. <laughs> the major components are all basically set. Really? You know? I think once we set this on here, the rest of it's just just put in the... Uh, just detail, the yeah, rest just, of it. just details. <laughs> once that's welded on, you operate that. Hey, this will be great. Feels like I'm grabbing a John Deere. <laughs> Well, I've got to tell you, I've been in to chat to the sewer rats and they've created a rather masterful looking beast. It's kind of half that sort of new age little family saloon car mm -hmm. merged in a slightly unpleasant fashion with the pickup truck. Very nice. Mm. Trash Can Heroes, it's not quite as developed. They've showed me how it's going to actually work. So now I, I know where the trash is going to go. They're trying to do it. Yeah, least. I can see where they're trying to go with it. but. I won't be fully satisfied till I actually see this thing spinning around and when working. So yeah, I it, mean the sun is going down, and I think it's going to be pretty tight. It's for both down teams. to the wire. Down to the be wire. A heck of a race. What it is. Speaking of race, shall we? Yes. Ready. Ready. Go. Come on. Yeah, no, I've got you. We can weld the platform like right there. Yeah, yeah. And put the rim just inside of it. I don't know if that's gonna, we might have to go out here to get the pulley in a little. The heroes are struggling to connect their broom to their motor. We can always shorten those if we yeah, have Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, why don't you grab that. Yep, I'm there. And I'll give you one of these. Yeah, because you need a bit of help around right, here, Right, let's you? go. Yes, we need a so, lot of help. Um, <laughs> would you stick that bumper onto the piece over there? Is that and the main job that needs doing? Yeah, here's the helmet. Okay. And, we'll be uh, sorted. Yeah. As long as I don't have to get a mullet, anything's fine. <laughs> you can do that. You don't have enough and bat for the mullet anyway. So get over there. And <laughs> now I'm coming on to you for a moment. <laughs> Talk me through, the, reassure me, because I'm seeing the sun go down quite fast here, and I'm not seeing a lot of... <laughs> You know, uh, you know those an hour ago, I was, pieces would be promising. An hour ago, we still had our supreme confidence, but we yeah. had a couple of setbacks. Yeah. Are you feeling yeah. wobbly? Uh, we're, um, I don't know, we're, we're behind. We're going kind of slow. So what the big, this is a big job, getting the engine all mounted. Yes. Getting the brush sorted out. Yeah, well, the brush is sorted out. The brush is made, but then it's got to be put on and it's got to twizzle and not hit that, the floor yes, and yes, do all that. Yes, yes. And then you've got your whole, whole hopper. Well, yes. Right, okay, well, I'll go and grab Tyler and we'll come and give you a hand. Right. Yeah. Get on over here. It's only fair. Man the welder. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll be finished in the gym. Bring your helmet, though. We don't have enough yeah, yeah, we're right. short I'll on helmets helmet here. helmet and yeah. maximum gear. All right, should we unclamp this end and then weld this on? <laughs> <laughs> you know, she came over and was very nice and uh, asking a lot of questions, but she didn't actually weld any. No. No. I'm disappointed. Can Where's you? this going? That goes on before the uh, fan gets put on. Yeah, this is getting welded into the spin. With their vacuum head coming together, the rats are starting to enjoy themselves. Oh, oh, oh. I'm just kidding. Oh, you scared the out of me. The problems are stacking up in Trash Can Alley. This wobbly wheel hub is supposed to spin at 200 RPM when their broom gets up to speed. Twan, this is not going to work. Really? No, it's not centered and it's the V-belt won't work. So. We're thinking take something like this and weld it on the end here. Yeah. And so then we have to mount the motor on the other side. So it would clear. That's a good idea. The advantage of the wheel hub was it was the right size to gear down their motor from 1200 to 200 RPM. The new pulley wheel is easier to mount, but because it's smaller in size, it'll be rotating closer to 500 RPM. So instead of flicking the rubbish into the hopper, they may end up firing rubbish all over the place. All right, teams, here it is, your 30-minute time to panic check. Kidney punch, kidney punch. Get the adrenaline going. OK. <laughs> I'm going to do the butt dance. See you, no, no, no. See you, no, see you, no, see you Despite the pressure, Captain Paul hasn't lost his sense of humor. Oh, no. Oh, I quit. I 
God damn it. I quit. <laughs> Let's take a look at the sewer rats. Take me through the race for them. How's it going to go, start to finish? Well, I think what the sewer rats are going to have to do is take their time. If they get too excited and go too fast, I think you're going to see a lot of trash get bypassed, and it's going to blow out from under what needs to be picking it up. What about the trash can heroes? What sort of things could slip them up? Well, they have a lot of mechanical parts on it. And it's possible that the broom could stop altogether. Exactly. So we don't know if that little motor is going to propel that broom to have success for the trash can. Yeah, we haven't seen that yet. That's correct. To come out one Whoa, one that's shift. pretty damn tight and pretty... Now, analog. let's take your $5. Where's that money going to go? I'm a vacuum man at heart. Sewer rats are going to win tomorrow. Gonna seize a moment while you've got your helmet up. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's looking transformed, I've gotta say. Are you feeling happy or are you feeling like you're not quite I I, I think I'm uh, I think I'm happy but I don't know if it's uh, delirious or uh, <laughs> or just happy because we're almost getting there, right? End of the day Very hysteria. Close. Now one thing that I hope hasn't been an oversight is um, we have stipulated that all four team members have to be on this machine. And I'm just Sort yes. Of wondering, I mean, there's a lot of room in there. Um, in the hopper, yes. That's a good point. For the controls, you obviously need somebody. That's right. We're going to be controlling the engine. Steering. We're going to be driving. We've got. Uh, we're going to have a passenger. Yeah. So it's just basically going to be pretty cozy up in this part of the machine, isn't it? Right. <laughs> it is a fine-looking broom over here. Hubba hubba. If if I wasn't married. <laughs> go, go, go. It's all sliding together nicely for the sewer rats. Tight. Sweet. But the trash can heroes don't have enough room to spin their broom properly. We still didn't, we didn't get it high enough, did we? Um, well, but your broom's not all the way down yet either, on, on, or well, is it? Well, how far into the pavement are we going to go with that? Yeah, you're right. As a last resort, Anton has to cut the bumper off. Here we go, teams. 15 minutes. 15 minute time check. No time for fooling around. It's a frantic dash for the trash cans. Just let me know before you pull the start cord on the engine. The sewer rats have to cut some corners. Grab some duct tape. Duct tape. Duct tape. Here it comes. Are you going to actually? Oh yeah, give yep. it a run. We're yes. testing it. Like now. Yeah, per, uh, well, uh, I'll give us like five minutes. You have got five minutes. That is a hard five minute time call, teams. Oh, the cables are on the top. You guys ready? Let's fire it up. Fire it. You firing? We're firing? Fire. Hey! Against all expectation, the sewer rats are the first yeah. to fire up their machine. Yeah! Well, you could just keep doing that all the way around the yeah. course. <laughs> Sweet! We got suction. Five, four, three, two, one. Tools down! Yeah! All right! because we will reconvene tomorrow and put these machines to the test. Yeah. So will the trash can heroes in their backwards brushing sweeper fly in to snatch victory from the floors of defeat? Or will those cunning sewer rats with their cross between a giant vacuum cleaner and a car crash leave their opponents looking like white trash? Here at the Junkyard Oval, whichever team scrubs up best will sweep through to the semi-final. As usual, we've allowed each team an hour to make the final adjustments to their machines before the test begins. The duct tape warrior. The trash can heroes have stabilized their broom to stop it shaking their machine apart, yeah. but it's spinning awfully fast. Stand back! The test will be divided into three heats, with a set amount of time to complete the course in each. Each team has one half of the track. Both are filled with identical trash, ranging from cans to rags. The teams will race against each other and the clock to pick up as much trash as they can. 
and in the later rounds they'll have to deal with trickier, heavier garbage. The teams will take all the rubbish they've collected from all three runs to the weigh-in. The team that's picked up the heaviest load will win. Side too, right? Sure. Yeah. Is there any possibility we could bend this up a little, maybe? To so how's it looking over here at the most lethal sweeper in the West? <laughs> it's looking good. It's this is a good. fine machine. But do you think? I mean, how do you? How confident are you feeling about? Well, winning. Uh, I see. Pretty good. And it's pretty. Yeah, good. we can pick we're up. Definitely get a we could probably get a whole body in there if we ran over somebody. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, body can go I'm into staying the well out of the way. <laughs> Well, Gail, clearly we're There's just time now for our judge to give the machines a final examination. So what do you think of the uh, sewer rats sucker? Well, I tell you, the sewer rats really done a fine job putting the design together. If you look at a machine that's made in a multi-million dollar factory, you're going to see the same design. For that, they have a compliment coming. But will they get the heavy material to keep compete with the mechanical broom? That's what we'll have to see. All right, Gail, here she is, Tidy Mary. Tidy Mary in the flesh. Now the speed that this broom is going to be flapping at all around, is the stuff even going to get inside the hop? It's going to be like flashing all over the place. We will be surprised if it doesn't go flying down south 30 miles. <laughs> if it doesn't, we're going to be in good shape. It's going to be interesting to see if the trash can heroes can contain the material. In round one, the teams will have three minutes to tackle cardboard, bottles and cans. It's time to fess up or mess up. Trash can heroes! Yeah. Yeah. Sewer rats! Yeah! Teams, you have three minutes to complete the course and pick up as much trash as you can. Start your engines! Go! Um, yeah, 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 yeah! Ready! Here goes set! Hey, Brian. Good, it's good. And they're off. Both machines seem to be working. Well, sort of. Trash can heroes, they're throwing stuff just about everywhere. The sewer rats are cruising through the cardboard. <laughs> and we've got a problem with the trash can already, heroes already. already. The trash can's broom engine has stalled. Oh, they're off again! Come on, trash cans! Oh, we're done! Well, we can only assume that those cans are disappearing up the chute where they're intended to go. You've had Now the trash can's belt drivers come loose. The sewer rats are leaving a clean swipe. Look at what they're doing. They're actually changing the color on the concrete. And the trash cans are off. Oh no, the belt's gone again. It's a quick rat run through the bottles before the horn goes. Get on the truck. Come on, Brian. It's a total wipeout for the trash cans. <laughs> oh dear. Right here, you, honey. Yeah. What happened? The belt won't stay on the brush. So the belt just keeps the falling off. The belt just off. keeps flopping off. And is that because you're going so? It's going so far. Yes. The gearing, the gearing is wrong, and it's overstressing the belt, and it's just jumping it right off. Jumping we can try off, tensioning huh? it a little more. What can we do? Let's try tensioning it a little it? more. So well, yeah, grab some tools. There's Let's nothing you can do to just slow, because that's fundamentally the problem, No, the, isn't that it? killed the engine the first time when I yeah. had it that slow. Is there anything to report from the inside of the hopper? No, I'm afraid we never really got to the pile. Yeah, we haven't There's hit any trash yet. There's one bit stuck on the bottom. You know, the judges might take a lenient view to that. That's Look at always, that. All right, should we uh, put that in the dump pile? Right. The that super sucker! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> have you had a look in there? Yeah. Can we have a peek? Can I have sure, a peek? Sure. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> nice booty! Yeah! God, it really mangles the cans when it goes through, Just doesn't it? Just the start. 
happiest moment so far is to look back down their side <laughs> after we complete right? and, and look at our side and then see then the difference. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were putting it somewhere. <laughs> the trash cans get to work tightening their drive belt. But I tell you, they have two heats to go, and if they can get their problems figured out, that machine's still going to put some weight on. And from here on out, things get heavier, heavier. which works in the trash can here. Absolutely, cover. definitely will turn the swing if they can get their motor to run and keep it running. That's All right. the key. Round two, the time limit's six minutes, and the trash is rags, packaging, and moldy vegetables. Teams, this is round number two. Ready. Steady. Both teams give the rags the runaround. The trash can's belt does seem to be staying on. There's a lot of sweeping, but there's not much pulverizing. It's spectacular from the trash cans. The sewer rats aren't wasting much time on the packaging. They're heading for those heavy vegetables. The trash cans are getting stuck in. <laughs> this is hilarious. They're going to grind us up, and we're going to have we're getting a vegetable bath. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we're, we're in a juice machine. Yeah, we're something. in a juice machine. That's all we have. But there is definitely vegetable sweeping We lost, we lost, we lost, lost Toyota. We lost Toyota. Well, look, the sewer rats, it looks like they might have a problem. They have their machine shut down and they're yeah. off the machine. Maybe they got a carrot oh, stuck in the fan or yeah. something. Yeah. So he's trying to, 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 to turn it over. Turn it over, Chris. What's going on, fellas? We don't know. Just a top engine. <gasps> the trash cans are cleaning up the last of their vegetables. The rats are running again, but they can't handle this heavy vegetable diet. Anton's obviously confident he's steering the trash cans into the rags. No, 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 that way, that way, that way, that way. That's what I thought was going to happen. All right. Just 15 seconds to go. The trash cans need to head for the finish. Go, go, go. warm. Ratty rats. Hello there. Capitano, what happened that time? Didn't look quite so, it sucked in we, the wrong way, didn't we're it? We're not 100% sure. But we think it plugged up the impeller, which stalled the motor, is what we think. Okay, stop. That was a bit more like it. That's a bit more like it. All right. Let's see, let's see what we've got in here. Man, we got some tasty looking coleslaw in there, huh? <laughs> so now you're feeling pretty happy, I should we imagine, about round three. We are more happy after this round than we were this round. Yeah. He was hyperventilating oh. <laughs> <laughs> after the first round. Yeah, because I always tended to run away. I was just like, <laughs> All right, well, prepare we for round three, here. gentlemen. <laughs> yes, we have vaporized quite a number oh, of them. Oh, that's happiness right there. <laughs> Well, it's definitely round one to the sewer rats, and it looks very much like round two to the trash can heroes, but there's still one round to go. Who will emerge the gods of the garbage? It's anybody's game, and let's see what happens in round number three. It's the last round. There are six minutes, and the trash is the heaviest yet. Sand, gravel, and brush. And there's also a couple of parked cars to dodge around. You guys ready? Yes. Right. Ready. Let's go. Teams! It's time to put on some weight. It's around the course in six minutes and collect as much garbage as you can. Ready. All right. Set. <laughs> Both teams head straight for gravel. Looks like the sewer rats are leaving quite a bit of it behind. Well, they will. They're not probably going to get it the first time. The trash cans are also leaving stuff behind. 
Their broom is set slightly too high and it's missing most of the gravel. The rats are coming back for another swipe. The rats are making a third pass. Oh, uh oh, looks like we might just add a disaster. I think they could be right yeah, out of have, luck. They have definitely blown something up. It could be just the chance the trash cans need. The rats are past the parked cars and they're heading for the finish. The trash cans have made these last few seconds count. What's the time? Go, 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 go. <sighs> I think we did it. It's too close to call. We'll have to wait for the weigh-in. I don't think you're going to be going to North Dakota, Jim. They were going to ship me off to North Dakota if we didn't win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Move the tarp in some more. All right, it's time for the big weigh-in. Sewer rats, bring forth your bounty. Trash can heroes, let's see what you got. Good sized sack. It's not bad. Nicely yeah. strung out. Oh, good. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty clear <laughs> way in. Our winners are the sewer rats. Yeah. Champagne for you, champagne for the winners. Remember I was telling you guys I never did this before? <laughs> Aww. Trash can heroes. <laughs> well, there he goes. Watch out. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, if you thought that was trash, stick around. We got more for you next time on Junkyard Wars. Right. It's time for a moment of prayer. The sewer rats, fresh from their super sucking success, take on the truculent turbines. Through the entire course of building this boat, you've been no help mechanically because you make no sense mechanically. As they fight it out in flying boats. <laughs> Junkyard Wars returns tomorrow. Still to come tonight on ABC2, Putting together a full-scale medieval battering ram is the challenge for the reinventors tonight at 8. But first, Mr Bean. <laughs>